I picked up this little digital microscope, okay. USB. It was about 15 bucks. There's the specs if you want to read them. I'm not going to go down through all that, but I can show you some on the thing. It has a button for take a, a picture, and it has the button on the other side for the light. That's obviously off. It's on low setting. Next up, that one's pretty good. That's all the way up. And I got it mostly to, to look at circuit boards for mistakes and, and uh, like bridges on the solder and cold solders and stuff like that. So I don't want to look at anything really close. I just want to see the circuit board, which it works perfectly. But you can change it. That's 640 by 480 and 1280 by 720. It gets right in there. It's kind of grainy, but you can still see everything. And it gets up to 1920 by 1080, which is really grainy. But still, it's not bad, but I don't be looking at anything that close. I'll be using the 640 by 480. And the stand's kind of plasticky cheesy but double-sided tape will fix that and keep it steady and uh, <clears throat> I had to like move the stand up on a about I'd say about a quarter inch stands kind of useless but I'll make it work and on the side on the front of the camera I'll show you is a little slide to adjust the focus. See, I oh, and back in. So I have trouble seeing stuff on circuit boards, any errors. So this will be handy. And the, it comes with a uh, little ruler for calibrating. I don't know if you can see that. A little plastic clear plastic that's for calibrating and it comes with the uh, drivers so I already installed these a little disc old school and instructions which are really vague on this stuff usually instructions are super vague but you just have the uh, you can capture a video I'll do a short video now it's recording. Like, why would you want to? Uh, there it is. Or you can, or you can do a photo. Snap an image. There it is. Uh, there's all kinds of other stuff you can do on this. You can do cross lines, measurements, measurements with circles, and then all polygon. You can do freehand scratch looks like. You can put text on here. And you can delete the last measure shape. Delete all measure shapes. This should be calibrated. I already calibrated it. Let's see. It's the last latest calibration data. And I want the uh, 640 there. Here's the calibration up in where the two rulers are. I mean, this could come in handy for taking out a splinter in your hand, I guess, if you really wanted to <laughs> see up close. 
but basically I'm just using it for circuit boards. Kids could use it to look at things like bugs, whatever. It's going to be handy for the circuit boards. And that's about it. That's kind of a basic rundown on it. The digital micro.